Hey guys, Zekwood25. And Archon1934. With episode 126 of the Engine Review. Today we have the Power Rangers RPM Double Blaster, aka the Highway Blaster from Engine Sentai Go On Jerry's. So now we have the Street Saber. Now, this is of course Red's main weapon. It's just a mainly much a sword. But it actually looks like a little racetrack because it says Go On it and it actually has a little race rail here. Now, it's okay size, but it doesn't it really, really doesn't do it doesn't really do much. There's no like electronic to push or nothing to like pull out or something like that. You can't insert any of the engine salt into the street saver. Because there's nothing there. But you do see it in the show that they do do some fancy footwork with it and just randomly attack enemies with it. Now the sad part is that the grip is also pretty small. Looking at the grip, it's pretty small. Even though it's nicely detailed, it's still pretty small and there's, I wish the saber was a bit longer, but sadly it's not. So now we have Flint's Turbo Cannon. Now this is Blue's main weapon and it's mainly much just a blaster. Sort of. Now this is the main compartment in the whole in the whole weapon because it actually holds the engine souls inside and makes noise with it. Now you can't really do much with just this. You do have a trigger, but you can't really do much with it anyway. But you can still operate the engine souls without the other ones. So we put it in. Sadly, you can't really do much with it like this without the engine soles. But at least it could stand on itself. Along with the other two, and it's a little nice design to mainly much look like a big cannon. So I also I, like that it has the design of how you can combine everything, where you can see the names and stuff. Where you combine. Size-wise, it's okay. I for mean, display. for a display piece, it looks nice, but when you're holding it. You really need to be a bit bigger, but overall, it's it's pretty nice design. I I really do like the whole highway thing. It's like a real cannon, cause and the cannon too are right here. The two little cannons are right here. That's fine. So now we have yellow's zip charger. This is just something I don't even know what to call it. Um, it's supposed to look like a race RC race car, and it's supposed to be fi when it fires in the show. It whenever whatever engine soul they put inside. The, the zip charger actually turns into bus on bear of your speed or in the sh in the show. Now this thing doesn't really do much. It does have reels and they are pretty okay, but and you can roll it back and forth, mimic what Rose or um, Saki does. In Go yeah, and she does. She just throws it around and it zips around the enemies. Thing is that it doesn't really do much at all. It really it has just... no electronics. It has nothing. It's de it's nicely detailed, but other than that, it really doesn't do anything. It really doesn't. It doesn't even have any electronics or a button to push to actually activate something. It really just, it's like a standalone car just for weapon wise. So now we have the Roller Blaster slash Highway Blaster. Now this is all three of them combined. Now in this mode, in the show, they actually shoot the Zip Charger out and it actually hits the enemies. Now you can still activate the engine souls. So the, the toy itself has something really interesting. It has a safety lock, so you can't really man automatically shoot this thing out. You, what you have to do manually is push the button down and then you fire it. And it actually just fires, it launches. Other than that, that's the only that's the only thing you can do with this weapon. Besides. You can use any of the engine souls, chainsaws if you choose to, all of them are compatible. All of them compatible, there's no certain specific You don't one. have to follow the show where you just put like speed or, or boss, boss on, on bear V. Now the good part about it is that since there's a safety lock, when the kid tries to shoot it, they can't really shoot it like you in the eye or anything like that. So you really much have to manually press it and then shoot it. <laughs> Thank you.
Or two extra minds. Now, sadly, we did not get a proper version of the Road Blaster. We actually got it in the weird rally and rumble sets that came with the um, RPM head head mask and things. whatnot. Regardless, all three of the weapons have been reduced to sizes so they're more smaller because they were supposed to fit in that rumble set. Now, yellow, she actually lost the color. The color on the yellow is actually a more bit brighter. more brighter. She lost the stickers on the side here, which is kind of stupid. And they also made the um, area visor for like the little windows all the way around, so you see blue on the back. Now the straight saber, most of it's pretty much the same except for its scale wise. Other than that, the handle bar design over here was changed into a really simple gray stripe. It lost the detailing. Same goes for the edging over here, but you can still raise and lower this part. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. They even also left the word go on it. Now the uh, funny thing is that we actually got a bigger size for this, but it was a rubber version of it, so you can't really combine it with any of these weapons at all. For the turbo cannon, we actually lightened the blue color on here. We actually took the, the 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 names of the stickers and just left them there. We added a black paint over here, so we lost the decals around here, and also of course the switch on the on the on the back. It was on the locking mechanism. It was actually slightly changed to different variant of it. The whole runway top on the turbo cannon was completely removed, along with the extra black detailing on the top rim. The actual firing feature was omitted. Also, the highway buster box came with cardboard targets for you to shoot. Now in the Japanese one, the engine soul you got in the Harry Blaster was Bear of soul. That's why in Gonja you would almost every single toy had at I least one it. soul. But you could have gotten I think the candy version or just bought in there some from some random person online that just took out the souls and just kept the Megazord or the Micas or whatnot. <laughs> Overall, the Road Blaster is okay. I wouldn't say it's the best weapon out there, but it does have its faults and yeah, stuff. The main problem is because the Go Onto Line needs to use the engine souls to work for all the sound effects. So basically, these are just a hunk of plastic that don't absolutely do it. And most people during the days, they would just took the engine souls out and just sold the toy separately, which is, of course, a really bad thing because even though you can have the toy alone, it still shoots and it still shoots the zip charger. There's nothing. There's, no there's nothing. There's no sound effects. No nothing. So you really can't do much with it, and it's a, a big letdown. The American one, of course, since we never got it, I don't recommend you guys get it. But since Asia has been has already been released, go on since last year. It's pretty cheaper. It's a bit cheaper to get the things, but at the same time, it's not because now it's Shinkanger. But you don't really have to get this unless you really want the soul. That's not like the main issue for go on was. If you wanted the soul, you had to buy the toy. But yeah, that's it for our review of the World Blaster. Join us November 17th when we come back for Season 7's premiere of the High Octane Megazord. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you that time. The Blaster does have the nice highway look to it on it. Take it out. I knew that was going to happen. I, I, I want to smack the designer.